we're live. Hey, we'll see if this is working. <laughs> Anyways, um, let me know if we're live, everybody. Here we go. The show tonight, YouTube Live. Um, this is Chris Yeto Painter here, uh, Home Improvement How To's, sitting in my studio. So we're starting to show and let's get going. Hopefully um, some people will be popping on. Let me look at the analytics here really quick. Um, bam, bam, just get everything all set up, ready to go. What's up, Chris? Capstone Painting says, um, concurrent viewers, we got one on, cool. So tonight's topic is um, we're gonna be talking about some overspray. It's always an interesting topic and we're gonna be doing some really cool giveaways when it comes to overspray. So um, I love Titan and Titan has provided me um, some pretty cool giveaways again tonight. So um, if there's any technical difficulties, just let me know right here. I'm watching the feed. Uh, Utah Painter is logged in, Nick Hunter, cool. That'd be interesting, Nick. You got? Um, do you have a channel called YouTube Utah Painter? Um, yeah, here we are. So um, giveaways tonight. The topic tonight is um, we're gonna be talking about Titan has created a brand new tip, the HEA tip, high efficiency airless tip, to run with their um, their system, and it knocks down your overspray by about fifty five percent or up to fifty five percent. So we're gonna be talking about how to quickly and efficiently control overspray with one simple little tool. So that's kind of cool. Um, let's see here. Um, and so what are we here for? We're here for to educate, empower, and equip you guys and, um, and teach about painting. So um, we'll get this show going here. Um, any soccer fans out there? Um, if you do, I played soccer this weekend. <laughs> I survived. So um, yeah, let's see today. And so we're gonna be, ta we're gonna be talking about um, how to reduce overspray. We're gonna be talking about a little bit about um, some of the, the, the ways you can go about overspray. Gonna be answering some questions on here live. Gonna pick out some questions to answer. I believe, I think I see John's on. So John is um, on, John's on. He's oh, back home and um, you can see there's nobody in the studio. Nobody's got my back. So. <laughs> Um, uh, it's just me, so it's a good thing I'm not afraid of the dark. If the lights go out, um, well, actually, it's not dark. It's a good thing the lights aren't out, because I'd be afraid of the dark. So, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, I had a pretty good week. Uh, this weekend, played soccer. It was kind of fun. Um, got to play goalie, got to play some defense, some offense. is fun. So, any soccer fans out there, let us know. Uh, let's see, we got already 131 viewers on. Got some really cool giveaways tonight. Um, so you got to stay tuned. Be getting um, un unboxing some stuff from Titan and going to be giving away some Titan, their HEA tips. Going to give away some Paint Life stickers. Going to give some Idaho Painter stickers away tonight. And who knows, they're just going to be giving away all kinds of stuff. But I think I got a, a really cool thing from Titan to give away. If you guys watched, I think it was a, um, two shows ago, I gave away a Titan Cap Spray 115 sprayer. It's pretty killer. Um, right here, live. Gave it away. So kind of cool. Um, but uh, yeah, I survived. I just got a jam thumb playing soccer. Uh, my foot hurts really bad. Uh, my hips hurt really bad. Everything. <laughs> Everything kind of hurts really bad. So, um, but I'm here. Um, I survived. So it was a lot of fun. My kids have a team, and it's called Big Time, Big Time Soccer Team. So, um, sponsored by uh, Paint Life or sponsored by the Idaho Painter. So, if you follow us on Instagram, you would have saw me. I posted a picture, you know, um, getting ready to go head out for the goalie thing. So, um, when it comes to you know overspray. Um, I want to talk about you know um, some of the things um, I do to control overspray. I got a couple stories. I do have a pretty interesting story to tell you here at the beginning of the show, and um, it's about not overspray, but about getting your colors approved with a customer. So this last week was kind of a crazy week. So if you watched on Instagram, if you saw, I just posted a picture a few days ago with these crazy ladders high up on this house. And it was one of the most difficult houses we painted this year, and we painted it white. The whole thing was white. The fascia was white. The fascia was white, trim white, body white, all one color white. And it took us all day. We got done at nighttime. It was dark when we got done. So, um, and when the customer came home, they uh, said, that's not the color. <laughs> so, um, 
uh, learning lesson. The, the customer put the color swatch up on the house and it wasn't even close. And a mistake we made was we called in um, to assure Williams the color and we, we didn't have the color swatch ourselves, but we called it in. They punched it up on their system. They um, said they can mix the color. And when um, they we went to pick it up, or um, one of us went to pick it up, we asked uh, about the color. There was no tint in it. And they said, no, that's the color. And so we didn't have the swatch to verify it. They didn't have a swatch to even verify what they mixed up or a drawdown or anything. So long story short, short, we get to go back and repaint the house. Customer gets a second paint job for free. And so, um, so really, you know, it's really good practice to, you know, always have your colors approved. If you got a color chip, you know, with the customer, um, you can approve the, once you get the color mixed, you can put some up on the house, have the customer look at it and approve it or um, approve it by um, just doing a drawdown on the swatch, showing the customer the swatch a couple days before, but good idea to get it approved. So that was a big learning lesson for us. Um, just in a hurry, we didn't see the color swatch. We should have just ran up the, it was a bare color. We could have ran up to Home Depot, grabbed that color. Before we started painting, we could have wiped some onto that and said, whoa, that is not even close. And we could have stopped right there. But so it's kind of an interesting story. And that would be one of those stories that cost me a lot of money. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's kind of interesting. So I know John is, um, if I got any problems, if we got any prob problems, John, I got my phone. You can text me. Here's, uh, see, here's my phone right there. You can see I got one of my Idaho painter stickers on my phone. It's kind of cool. So I've um, got a bunch of people on. I see Brian Wagner, Capstone Painting, Paint Tech Academy e e um, is on. Uh, John's answering questions. Um, I see he's answering some questions with Paint Tech. So um yeah, so here, here's an announcement. So Paint Tech Academy is on. They're all the way over in England, and I know it's probably like about two o'clock in the morning now, and Ian is on live with us. So um, I'm heading over to the National Painting and Decorating Show in England, Coventry, England, the 28th and 29th. So you gotta come check it out. You gotta come check out the um, our booth, Paint Tech Trading Academy is sponsoring me, having me come over there. We're gonna be hanging out with them in their booth and we got some really cool giveaways that we're gonna be doing in the booth. And then after the show, for an hour after the show, I believe, we're gonna be meeting with people that wanna ask us questions, ask me questions and stuff, so it's gonna be really cool. That's the, um, November 28th and 29th, so you gotta check it out. If you want in, more information, more information, about that my um now my mouth is so dry you got to um go check out uh um paint tech training academies their their facebook page so um i used to always get it confused i would say spray tech this time i said paint tech right so kind of cool so um yeah we oh and another, another thing we are going to be launching our our very own our own store and it's not going to be an amazon affiliate store we're going to be launching our own store having some specific items in there like our spray shield holder we've already purchased them the one you see in all of our videos made by craft we're going to be having our own t-shirts we're going to be selling hats um and just some specific tools that we we really like and believe in and a handful of them probably i don't know about 20 of them john's putting together this store so it's all ready to go we just got to dial in some prices and stuff that should be online here coming very very soon so stay tuned for that um yeah so uh kind of cool and uh yeah i said we're gonna be doing some sticker giveaways and stuff so um and then i got something to here's the package and it is from it's from titan so and i'm probably competing against um monday night football once again who's playing um i don't even know who's playing so um thank you guys for being here and not watching monday night football so there we go i'm going to open that here very shortly and um tell you about a little bit about you know um what's in there and i think i got something in there to give away tonight so you got to stay tuned from from titan from um the Titan Corporation, love their pumps, love their sprayers. We use our HVLP sprayers, our cat sprayers, sprayers, um, man, all kinds of their stuff. So um, their guns and everything. So we've got 142 people on tonight, kind of cool. So King Almighty is on, Drome Landry is on, Capstone Pinion, see, see them, um, kind of cool. So um, 
I'll try to answer some questions myself. I know Ryan Petzold, Nick Hunter is on. Thank you guys. Uh, Michael Thompson is on. Um, cool. So um, here we go. Let me let me just give away. I'll give away some Paint Life stickers right now. So we'll just um, let's see. So we, we're actually we'll do. Um, I think we'll just. Should we just unbox this thing? We'll unbox this thing because I want to show this thing. I'll unbox this right now because I think I know what's in here. So I, I didn't get to bring a knife in here. I'm so not prepared tonight. Um, so here we go. Bam, 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 bam. I'm not very good at this. It's like I've never even unboxed something before in my life. There we go. See what they sent. I know I got a bunch of tight. I got. I'm gonna be giving away some HEA tips tonight. Um, the spray tips. What do we got? We got another box in a box. Are you kidding me? What the heck? Let's see here. Damn. Oh, there we go. It is what I thought it is. So we got two Titan guns. There we go. Bam. So they sent me two. I know I'm gonna be getting. A couple more of them so stay tuned this week and next week i'm gonna be giving away i think three of these guns i'm gonna be giving away one on facebook so you got to check me out on facebook i'm gonna give it away on our live show on facebook so um yeah we're gonna be talking about the gun here i want to explain a little bit about this gun and how this thing works too and um with these ha tips because this is going to be a way that you can just instantly control you know your overspray we got a couple super chatters andrew slovis slovisak is on and angel guzman is on thank you guys very much very much appreciate you know your guys' super chats so um here it is i don't know if you guys who, who who's out there has tried this gun and used this gun if you have just let you let us know what you think of it um it's pretty new they just created this gun not that long ago and we have a few of them so um i'm going to tonight we'll be given i think i'm giving away in this box it didn't have the um the tip and gauge and stuff these are the ones i'm going to be installing on my stuff but titan's going to be sending it it's going to come with a gun and a gauge because this gun you need the gauge when you're running the hea tips because the hea tips run at a thousand psi so you got to know that you're at a thousand psi at the gun it's pretty important so um it's pretty important to have this gauge to know what you're running at the gun so um so the tip will function properly and we're going to be experimenting and showing you a video we're going to be using it at the gun and at the pump and see what the difference is and stuff like that so it's going to be kind of cool but tonight we're going to be giving away this the whole setup this the gauge and um a tip an hda tip so that's kind of cool that's um from titan so yeah so and that's the, the the tips themselves will just give you a little rundown of the tip this tip itself will you know reduce reduce um overspray by 55 percent up to 55 percent and um you know and it's it's kind of interesting because they do i just went and watched the video i saw um quite a while ago and then i just went back to i wanted to remember where i saw it and i was thumbing through instagram on titan's instagram they have a video showing you introducing this tip and showing you the overspray inside of a room and how much overspray that it reduced this tip versus another conventional tip that was run at 3300 psi and it's interesting because it was extremely significant and you know one thing i'm kind of you know curious about is i mean what people's definition of overspray is and you know when, when i talk about overspray um i'm not talking about like it's interesting because when, when you're spraying there is um you'll see kind of like a cloud if you look in the right lighting and stuff like that and there are chemicals flashing off you know water vapor there is silica dust um things like that 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 uh to me is really not overspray overspray is you know the paint fall out and stuff that's gonna you know stick like um if you get some overspray uh, that blows off at a distance, lands on a car, it's going to be wet paint um, landing on the car. So I think there might be a little bit of confusion about what overspray is. Um, is it just the, the silica dust flying around in the air? You know, to me, that's just dust. I don't know. Um, splash painting is on. Um, DSB painting. Every time we keep seeing new people showing up, that's really, really cool. Thank you guys for all, all the new uh, people for showing up and um, hanging out with us instead of hanging out um, with uh, watching football <laughs> so um 
you know, some of the ways we cook that are controlling overspray, that's really important. I'll just talk about that. And you can control overspray by, you know, the pressure at your pump. And then another thing that people just overlook is uh, overspray, controlling overspray by um, having clean, clean gun filters, um, having the proper pressure, the pressure not, if the pressure is up too high, you're going to get overspray. Another very, very important thing, I think this is extremely overlooked, is tips that are blown out. And these tips... The, the tips, uh, I think we replace them about every 40 to 50 gallons. And I know people that are using these things for hundreds of gallons and the tips are completely blown out and they're just going to throw out, not atomize the paint properly and throw out a ton of paint and it's going to create way more overspray. It's going to waste paint. It's going to use more paint. So you should change your tips, you know, every 40 to 50 gallons. And, and it seems like to me, uh, from what I hear from people um, communicating back and forth with me that you know either the boss doesn't allow them to change them or they, they can't believe that we change them that fast and it doesn't seem like the majority of people are changing them if you uh, let us know in below in the comments below when you how often you change your tips how many gallons you run run them through we run 40 to 50 gallons you know or, or even possibly less you know before we're changing them and it's just a job site expense if you try to you know push them too far the, the droplets get too big you'll just feel paint raining down on you and that's overspray and and it's interesting when it comes to overspray too um i'll, th I'll talk about this a little bit and uh why not let's just give away some we'll just um we're gonna give away oh god let's see here um the stickers we're gonna give away some stickers i got uh here one two three i got four of them four we got some paint life stickers here to give away i'm gonna give away five paint life stickers bam to five people right now and here's what you got to do to win a sticker i see dfw crown is on that'd be richard john burke is on um here we go it's pretty simple um let's see uh where, where is um five stickers um okay here we go let's do we'll do this today we we actually had to um count all of our sprayers and then we had to write the serial numbers down and we had to write the serial numbers down to give them to our insurance company in case we get you know burglarized or whatever and people steal all of our sprayers that will um we can get them paid for and stuff so and, and reimburse for them and i have a certain amount of sprayers and i got how many sprayers do i have i got um and anything that sprays is falls in this and these are our, this is our equipment and we have sprayers that spray water we have sprayers that spray sand we got sprayers that spray uh paint and stuff so um tell us how many here we go i got a somebody um let's see here we go um i got a um the question you got to tell me how many sprayers total we have but then you also so uh, we got somebody already guessing but you have to add the emoji so you got to make your guess and then put the emoji with the sunglasses on so make your guess and then you have to have the emoji to win so make a guess click the emoji with sunglasses the only way you can win is having the number and the emoji i see people guessing without the emoji so we're looking for the number and then we're looking for the emoji. People are firing off a lot of stuff. You gotta, you gotta put this little emoji. Watch, I just take and I just entered it right there. Bam! There's the emoji. So somebody did it. We got Wade Rent figured it out. So you gotta hit the emoji right there. See, there we go. There we go. Now I see. So the emoji with sunglasses. Bam! People figured it out. Let me see if I can see anybody that's guessed it. I can see somebody that guessed it, but they didn't put the emoji. So. Here we go. You want a paint life sticker? Let's see. There we go. Um, oh, I see one person that guessed it. I'm gonna be giving away five of them. So, I see one that guessed. Bam! Look at look at all those sunglasses. And it's it was a sunny day here today, but it was freezing cold. It's like 32 degrees here. So, um, let's see. We got some pretty good guesses. I had one. I, I know I saw one person that guessed. And um, let's see. And I'll have John. John can just tell me once he picks. Once he's got five people. So I've seen one, and I'll tell you what, we have above 20, it's crazy, above 20 sprayers. I, would have, I thought we had probably like 12 to 15, absolutely crazy how many sprayers that we have. So now I'm seeing like all kinds of guesses, so I'm sure we probably, I know I've seen two people guess it. Um, 
so five of them we're going to get begin way and we always send out with, with the stickers we always send out you know a signed thank you card and stuff so it's kind of cool so um let's see john let's see if john's picked out let's see let's see here what john can text me as soon as he gets um five people and we'll just get going um move on to what what i was talking about and now what the heck was i talking about um um so the, these tips and stuff the the titan hea tips when it comes to control controlling overspray um and john will give me the five names i i man holy cow <laughs> we got tons of people guessing and stuff i know i've seen now, now i know i've seen five so we've already got five people <laughs> And you can, only, you can only put one number on there. So um, John's going to text me the winners. We got five winners, so you guys can stop guessing now. So um, that's cool. So um, off to the tips again. You know, we, we've used these tips. One thing, um, we've already used them, already tested them. We've tested them for fences. Work absolutely amazing controlling overspray, overspray on fences. So um it great that was the first place we tested them absolutely loved it because now when you're going over the top of the fence you know cardboard shields and stuff or even going through the fence it it's significantly and i would say at least 55 to even up to 75 percent of the overspray was eliminated we've used them on interior we sprayed a garage with them absolutely love the fan pattern the fan pattern it, it comes out and it fades out really really nice really liked it and we um sprayed that a uh, garage the interior of a garage with the garage door closed and definitely can see the difference we've sprayed it into we sprayed exteriors with them on um, the body of an exterior we sprayed um, gutters with them all kinds of stuff with them so I think John's on uh, we'll see if John because I know he's he's picking out five people I'm sure so we already got five people you know for the stickers just gave away five of these stickers bam paint life stickers thanks for your guys' guesses kind of cool um, so we, we've tested them we've used them here we go J john got five winners so uh jesse uh lice jesse licia 65 argos painting and decorating sheldon mcfarlane brandon mitchell and robin j osara you guys are the winners kind of cool you get a paint life sticker bam um thanks for being on and you know getting a chance to win we're still going to give away you know, we're going to be giving away one of the titan guns tonight so with the gun the gauge and stuff and those guns are several hundred dollars so it's kind of cool so um well uh, let's see we got the that's the titan giveaway the gun giveaway got the stickers um and we're oh we're going to be giving away a bunch of these tips tonight we'll give away you know a handful of them so stay tuned um so if you're i know like up here the weather the weather's drastically changed now today was like 30 degrees we're right in the middle doing an, in, uh, an exterior we can't finish and stuff because of the weather so i'm um, kind of a bummer so we're waiting for it to warm back up because we got two more houses to try to get done but when the weather is cool like this the temperature is cool now you really got to be concerned about overspray that's when um tips like this because what happens in the summertime you know it's, it's extremely hot you're spraying if you get any fallout or Anything and it's windy when it's hot 90 degrees that stuff flash dries and dries extremely fast and you don't have to worry about it now you know it's extremely cold and cool and it's usually damp in the mornings over spray you know kind of drifting out five feet ten feet it's gonna land on your roof and if your roof is black and you're painting with white it can be an issue so we really pay attention to a lot of those things so that you know this is the time of year you know when the temperatures get getting cool the Titan HEA tips you know would work great because they do work they absolutely work they're awesome um yeah so oh and the one the one key thing i have said it before but you have to run them because we've tested them um above a thousand psi and at a thousand psi and even below a thousand psi so it's, it's pretty important to you know to run them at a thousand psi so that's why titan and this gauge i don't know if you can see this gauge the gauge actually has you know right in there where the um hea tip uh, it's supposed to be running at so this gauge is designed specifically for those tips once you get a feel for it on there what your pump you know you're going to put this gauge on and um the product you know we're using a lot of the same product on exteriors or interiors and exteriors it's the same all year long and you'll eventually know exactly you know where to set it and so uh, you're not going to have to play around with it if your filters get clogged and stuff like that that's going to kind of mess with your your um 
your pressure and stuff. So you got to keep an eye on your 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 filters and stuff like that. We got Roy Klein. Every time I clean my tips, they always rust. Well, that's interesting. Um, I'm not sure that's uh, what Roy just made that comment. What tips are you using, Roy? Because I've never had a tip rust in my career. The tips are um, they're, they're like carbide and stainless steel, so they shouldn't rust. That's really weird. So they must be, I mean, aftermarket cheap tips. I don't know. I mean, a tip should not rust. If it rusts, that's a big problem, especially with that little tiny orifice in there that could cause all kinds of issues. And um, look at the company. We, we use all the tips we use are um, from two companies in Graco and Titan. So yeah, that's a, that's an interesting comment. So let's see if we've got any questions here. Yes, uh, let's see, question, think about Graco 7 Series, a splash painting Robbie. Uh, drone blending. Do you put the gauge attached to the gun or the machine? So that, that's a good question. This gauge is designed to be attached to the gun. It has a swivel right here, the swivel. And because what you want to know is you want to know that it's a thousand PSI at the gun. If you hook this up at the, the sprayer, it just depends on how much hose you have. You're going to have a drop in, in pressure from 50 feet to 100 feet to 200 feet, depending on how much hose you got. So you definitely, um, this is supposed to be run at the gun. The one thing, I haven't tested it at the gun. We've been spraying and we've been just um, adjusting our pressure at the pump. We just got these things, so we haven't even tested them. So the one thing uh, I think once I figure it out, I'm going to want to take it off the gun because this is a lot more added weight on the gun that I just wouldn't want um, to have on there. So, you know, but you got to have to, you got to determine, you know, with the product you're using, like the exterior paint we're using, you know, what is a thousand PSI with that product with a hundred, we're using running about 150 feet to 200 feet of hose so you'll eventually get a feel for it and then you won't necessarily need the gauge but we're gonna be testing it back and forth so stay tuned for the video because we're gonna be testing this over the next two weeks so kind of cool so um, amble lane how does your hose length affect your pressure so um, it's just kind of like like a garden hose, you know. If you if you you know you're, you're going to hook up your hose to your pump, your pump's going to be you know pushing pressure into you know that hose, and then if you have you know um, 500 feet of hose, just it's just I, I don't know what you call it like um, mechanics or physics or something. The pressure just over over a period of time length, it's just going to drop. You know, and so from your pump, I think what we were looking at, we were seeing maybe like from 150 feet of hose to um, the gun, we were seeing like possibly like 100 pounds or, or 100 PSI drop in pressure, but we weren't exactly sure. But we'll end up knowing once we hook this gauge up. But it is a garden hose. If you turn a garden hose on on your house, you're you know the the guard. It's like 40 PSI. You know, and if you run you know 500 feet of garden hose um you know it, there's gonna be less pressure it's the same with a, wa a, a power washer and and because of that drop of pressure that's why we take our airless sprayers our big ones and we'll run a 3 8 inch hose for our first length like 50 feet and then we'll drop down to our quarter inch hose and that way our pre our sprayers don't have to work as much and it helps with the pressure so um kind of just a little simple tip there um, let's see, Kenny Sanders, you ever leave your gun or tips in lacquer thinner, it expands the seals. So um, that's a good point. We um, we do leave all, um, we don't leave our, let's see, he said you leave your gun. Yeah, we, we, don't, we don't ever put our guns in anything. Our guns are attached to our sprayers and they always stay out. We do spray them with WD-40 and keep the outside of it lubricated, paint will stick on it, and then the the little um some of the guns have these little rails that you know we turn them sideways and we've always had good success using wd-40 but the tips we always put our tips in paint thinner so w whether we're using water-based paint or um or any other type of paint we just throw them we always have a can in our vehicles a one gallon can that has about this much paint thinner in it at the end of the day we just top our tip and guard into the paint thinner and and we've used even used lacquer thinner and we've never had a problem with it damaging the seals on the guard so it's a good question um try me custom paintings on bobby willis how do you know your pressure rate on your little Graco 390? So the Graco 390 and the Titan 440s, you don't know your pressure. So that's where this gauge um, really comes into play. And 
on 11.40 or a 7.95, you have your pressure at the pump and you can you know just wing it and just go up maybe 50 PSI or 100 PSI at your pump. If you're running like 200 feet of hose, you wouldn't know exactly, but you'll at least know your, your pump pressure. Uh, with the, the the 440s, which I think we got like six or seven of the 440s, you don't even know what your pressure is. You're kind of, we just, you just go by feel. It's a 395, you know, um, how does 2200 PSI on 1140 feel with the gun? And eventually after spraying for a lot of years, you just get the feel for what 2200 PSI is. And we typically spray our exteriors all the exteriors is at 2200 psi and we know that exactly on our large pumps so um this is a good question um sarsaparilla kid haven't seen that name thanks for the helpful videos just curious if you guys ever use the jet roller or um jet roller that graco sells so very good question the jet roller and i think it's called the power roller we have both of them and we haven't got to interiors yet we got them both they're brand new and we'll be testing them out and um, we'll let you know what we think of them. Um, I've never tested one, I've never used one. So um, I'm kind of very excited to give them a test and we're just waiting for our exterior season to end. We don't do any interior painting uh, during the summer at all. We do only exterior painting. Interior painting starts next week. So next week we're gonna be bam, using the Graco, your power roller and jet roller. So good question. Um, Let's see, any, any other questions? Oh, what a night's on. What is the bend? I'm not sure what he's asking there. Um, best way to clean them. The, the tips, I, if you're talking about the tips, you know, you just, by cleaning a tip, you just take and just reverse it, spray it back and forth, just reversed, and that cleans out the tip. And and then we just, after that, we kind of, we just throw them into our lacquer thinner or paint thinner. Um, let's see. Uh, Greg Andreas is on. I use the same gauge on a Titan 400 and it works great. But um, yeah, you want to figure it out and take it off because I it gets to be a nuisance. So yeah, there we go. We got Greg Andreas that says he's used it. So and he does eventually take it off because it becomes a nuisance. And he says you eventually get used to it. Awesome. So anybody has anybody else because these things are like brand new. Has anybody else tried these things? Use them. Let us know. Let us know, you know, what you've done, what works, what doesn't work, what PSIs you see, you know, drop on your hose and what length, man, just share it below. We'd love to hear. I would love to hear because I'm not an expert on them and both John and I, we haven't even really used them. Eddie, Eddie Rodriguez, does paint with primer spray different than individual paint and primer? Um, you know, that, that's an interesting question. Um, We've sprayed them both, and, and to me, I don't think there's any difference. I think they feel both the same. Ruben Lopes, kind of cool. Thanks, breaking breaking in that 440 this week for doors and casings. Kind of cool. It's a Titan 440 user. Cool. We love Titan. Um, they, they totally, you know, give us all kinds of stuff to give you guys. So that's, that is fun, and that's cool. So we got Roy Klein says the power roller is great. And one of them, the power roller, I think, is the one that um, it comes out of the roller. And then the, the jet, the jet one is the one that it, it sprays it onto the nap. So one of it, the paint comes out of the roller, one of them, it sprays it onto the roller. So the one that sprays it onto the roller, then you would obviously have the issue of overspray and dust going in the air, silica dust. So if you're using it on interior repaints, you're going to have the same dust, I would assume, as if you're even spraying the walls. So kind of interesting. Um, Jay Brum, Lions over Green Bay, 14 nothing. two minutes left in the first half. Hey, there you go. Got your update. How many different tips should you have? I live in Washington and I'm a general contractor. So if I can only have two tips, I'd have a 515 and a 310. And I would say 90%, 90, 95% of all of our spraying is done with a 515 and a 210. Every now and then if we're like spraying um, elastomerics, you got to jump up into a bigger tip. If we're um, uh, a bigger size tip, a bigger fan, bigger orifice size. If we're doing interiors, um, we don't do new construction anymore, but interiors like a garage or something like that, I probably want a bigger tip than a 515. I'd probably go like a 619 if I was doing a garage, but I mean, you really don't need a whole lot of tips. I mean, a 310 will do all your interior trim work on a package. You can get away with it. You can do it. It does on the outside. It does the gutters. It does the doors. It does the downspouts. Um, in, in the body of the house, we use a 515. So um, hopefully that answers your question. Gabriel Nunez. Um, let's see. I have a, an 1140 I need to fix up. Let's see. That's another question. Try me custom custom painting. Chris, I'd, I sprayed it 
into your ceiling with my Titan 440. I had a brand new tip and a brand new gun. Why did it leave lines in the center? So, um, so try me custom painting. So he's asking that with a, um, I'm not sure if he was using what tip he was using, but if you start to get fingering on the outsides or some fingering panel, um, fingering in the middle, a lot of most of the time that's going to be pressure related so either your gun filters are going to be clogged your manifold filter on your sprayer is clogged maybe your sprayer is not even reaching the proper psi because the packings are worn out so it's something to something to look into um, i have run into once in my career where i put a tip on and the tip was bad and i had nothing uh, and i eventually figured out from process elimination the tip was bad it wasn't working properly so those hopefully that will give you some things to look into um let's see we got brandon mitchell hey robin i used to talk to robin so that's not to me um so i think it's we're midway through the show midway let's give away i'm gonna give away i mean we, we keep talking about these tips um a lot right now so why don't we just give some away they got i mean i got like bags of them here i'm gonna be giving away on instagram on instagram and be giving them away on facebook so follow us you got to follow us instagram is idaho painter facebook is the idaho painter if we're going to be giving away i think i'm giving away i'm pretty sure i'm giving away four of these guns one of them is tonight so i think i'm giving away another one on my live show next week and i'll be giving away one on facebook and i think one on instagram so you got to stay tuned instagram is idaho painter um facebook is the idaho painter and we just do live shows just random i think friday we're going to be doing a live show on the idaho painter um facebook so you need to follow me so you'll get notified when i go live if you want to win one and we always make it simple and easy to win and hopefully you win so um okay cool so we're gonna give we'll give away since i got so many of these things um let's see if got we'll give away we'll give away three of them right now so we're going to give away three three of these hea tips um to three people so what question do i what question do i have i got um a simple let's see um here we'll do we'll do this um what year and this you have to put emoji so um you gotta do you gotta listen to the instructions <laughs> people just start throwing random numbers we have people already guessing and um you got to guess what year, so it's a year, and what year did Titan create the Titan 440? And you have to, um, let's see, you got to, here we go, the instructions. I wrote them down. I wrote them to John. Let me look up John's, um, let's see, and what year did Titan create the 440? And you have to put a cat emoji with it. So in what year did Titan create the 440 and put a cat emoji with your guess? and you could be the winner of a Titan HA tip. These things retail, if you go, they sell them on Amazon right now and they sell them in the paint stores. They retail for um, approximately $46, anywhere from 41 to $46. So it's a killer value. And so we'll be talking about some of the key points with these things again here in a minute after you guys. 1993 is not it. Um, the Titan 440, the Titan 440. What year, um, what year did the Titan 440 come out? And here's here's a hint for you. Yeah, there's the cat emoji. I see it. Here's a hint. It was um, oh, you see somebody that's pretty dang close. Oh, we see. I yeah, I see some. Oh, I see. Like, see, I see. People are probably getting on and googling it. So I see. Let's see. Bam, bam. Look at people guessing. Look at all those cat emojis. Crazy. <laughs> So cat fox, I mean, I guess a fox works, it's orange. So um, 19, but give John a chance. John's gonna pick, grab the first three winners of the tips, man. So we're gonna be giving away these tips. Here's um, something about the, the tips themselves. Another benefit to these tips. Since, you get, since you're running a lower pressure, you're running it down to just 1,000 PSI, 1,000 PSI. So what does that mean? There's less pressure going through this tip, so it's probably going to last longer. So that, that's a good key point about these tips because the tips are expensive. Um, any tip is expensive. The tips we use range from like $29 all the way up to $46. I think the cheapest the cheapest tips we use are like um, 29 bucks. So, you know, they're not cheap. So you want them to last as long, you know, as you can. And we haven't done any testing with them to tell you how much longer they last. And um, 
and specifically paid attention to it, but we've used them and, and we've used them, we've used them at high, the regular pressure, like 2200 PSI and 2500 PSI. And it seems like that does wear them out fast, um, faster because they weren't designed to do that. And so um, they're designed to, to go at a thousand PSI. So they should, um, they should technically just last longer. And I don't think there's, um, Titan's done any stat, any um, tests to give like hard evidence. I think we have three winners now. We do three winners for um, uh, Titan HA tips we'll be sending you. And, and then we always, usually when people win stuff, we always send them a sticker with it. And um, we always send them a, a little a postcard. We, we, when, with our giveaways, we send a postcard and, um, and, and sign it and stuff and say thank you and stuff. And it's even signed in gold ink. So that's kind of cool. So, um, the, let's see, what do we got going on here? I am looking at some notes here. Um, I want to talk a little bit about, um, you know, you know, cheap paint and overspray. Cause I know we keep getting all this stuff, this feedback, overspray, overspray. People cr keep criticizing us with our, you know, with our videos. You got overspray all over the roof. You got overspray all over the plants. You get overspray on the cars next to you. And we keep hearing that. And you know, to be honest with you, um, I've got overspray on a vehicle one time in my whole career. And I think the, it was blowing gusting winds like 35 miles an hour. And um, I didn't have a cardboard shield and I sprayed around a corner and I whipped around a corner. And we told people not to park where they, in this right by where I was spraying and the person moved it. And then um, when I wasn't paying attention, they moved it right back and they, it whipped around and got um, paint on the car. It's the only time I've ever got overspray and a claim on a vehicle and or anything you know that that um i had to deal with so you know overspray is um is you know it can be controlled and it's not this like just magic thing where the paint just jumps off out of your gun just jumps onto you know vehicles and other houses and stuff like that you can control it and um but one thing I noticed, we've been now testing out new paints. And if you've watched us on YouTube and watched, um, follow us on Instagram, we're testing new products and new paints because we're trying to expand our horizons and um, possibly even change the paints we're using. So, because um, we want to give our customers the best products, the best paint and products. And so if the stuff we're using is not the best, you know, we're, we're gonna make sure that we give them the best. So we're exploring other paints. And I did notice this one company, we tested their paint and they they told us it was their best paint and man I if if paint if uh, if the paint that you guys are using out there does what this did then I can see why people would be you know saying yeah you're getting overspray on everything because this stuff man it just we usually just run nine inch paper on the roof and we and you know you'll get a little bit of like overspray when you're running along that paper about this much man it, it's the paint splattered it was bouncing off the surface and it was landing off the roof man about this far so and then when I was when I went to go do touch-ups I, I would dip my brush pat my brush and I'd go up to do the touch-ups and it would just flick paint and it flicked it off beyond our paint beyond our paper and man it was an absolute nightmare and if paint was if all paint was like that then yeah we would you know you would have you know um issues with overspray and that was that was a product that they told us was their best product and um and so i'm not going to say the name of the paint company so if you ask i'm not going to i'm not going to say because i don't want to you know ruin anybody's reputation and stuff but man it was it was crazy i mean the paint i've never used a paint that's done that's ever done anything like that before and all the paints you know nine inch paper you know every now and we'll drop drop cloths down but spraying ceilings on a over concrete and stuff like that on the porch there's never over spray on the porch and stuff so it's kind of interesting that whole overspray I wanted to um, just let you guys know that so if you want to control overspray and your paint is splattering and and, ha and making a big mess maybe you should look into trying new paints I mean um, I know one thing I mean we've tried new paints and that was a paint I would never use so um, yeah I think John's John I'm sure he's already got three he hasn't texted me or has he texted me Oh, he did text me. So we got three winners. Three winners for the Titan HGA tips. So we've got um, Jeremy Applegate. Um, haven't even, uh, he's never won anything before. I've never heard his name. Kind of cool. New Generations Painters and Paint Tech. Paint Tech. I got to send one all the way to UK. They're from the UK. So Paint Tech Academy is um, won one. So kind of cool. Um, once again, we are heading to uh, Coventry, England for the National Painting and Decorating Show, um, November 28th and 29th. If you want to come hang out with us, 
hang out at the booth, you know, talk to me, ask me questions. You've got to come check it out. You got to be there after the show for an hour. Both days we'll be hanging out after the show in another room, just answering questions. Your guys' questions fire them out, fire fire them at me. Let me know. So. I'm super, super excited for that. That's uh, so cool. So, um, and then we're doing, we're giving a four hours, or I'm giving a four hour seminar at another location um, that they're selling tickets to. So you got to go um, and go to their Facebook page if you want to go there, purchase tickets to the four hour um, seminar that will be given um, and questions and answers. Plus, we're giving away a whole bunch of Titan stuff, including a Titan sprayer there. So you got to come check it out. We're giving away some Titan guns there at the cat at the at the um, at the show too. So. Come hang out with us at the show. And we, our store, once again, our store where we're going to be selling our own shirts and hats and, and some of the tools that we absolutely love, like, um, like the Titan gun and stuff. We'll be having some of these things in our own store. So that store is almost up and running. John has is, is got it ready to rock and roll. So that should be rolling out soon on our website. So you're going to see instead of an affiliate store, it's going to be our very own store. Very cool. Very exciting. Um, exciting news so um, kind of cool um, and so yeah don't forget to if you guys um, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook because we're giving away some stuff there too on YouTube subscribe hit that little notification bell that way you're notified when I go live and this show this the show is really about you know um, answering questions teaching you guys um, um, educate equip and empower you guys to be better painters and stuff and and then we just love to give away stuff it's kind of cool people send me stuff and I give it away to you guys it's fun so Johnny Bones, me and New Generation said it first like three spits. Um, said it first like three from each other, but I picked the, <laughs> he picked the, well, that's technically a cat. So that's like a, a leopard is a cat emoji thinking it was a dang cat. Um, so Johnny, I'll send you one because it is a cat. So um, Johnny, just um, I'll have John, John will put it in there. We'll, we'll send you a tip. So cool. Um, Johnny Bones. Um, let's see. We got uh, Brian Wagner, Paint Tech. I'd really, I'd really appreciate it. He's talking to any questions. If there's any DBS painting, um, any, have you tried the HEA tips with thick paint? So I don't know what um, I know what would be you know considered thick paint. We've used it with the, the exterior paints that we use. We, we've used it with duration. We've used it um, with emerald. We've used it with Treasure Valley eggshell, which I would consider thick. Um, We've used it. I'm not sure. I'm mean, John can address some of the other products we've used it with. Um, I'm not sure if we've used it with any last American coatings. We, oh, we've used it with very, very thin stuff, which um, stains. So we've used it with uh, woodscapes, and that's where you'd really be concerned about overspray. You know, doing fences and stuff and stuff just going up in the wind, being carried into the wind and be carried to the neighbor's house or or what do they have in their yard and stuff. And it worked absolutely fabulous. So good question. Bobby Willis, booby prize for the dummy that doesn't know what an emoji is. So if you don't know what emoji is, the emoji is where you're typing in, um, where you're typing in your questions or where you're um, putting in your answer to our questions. You have that little option. You just click that little smiley face right there and it'll give you a drop down of a bunch of emojis emojis and so um you so there's like there's a little dollar sign down there and a little dollar sign you'll see people give us super chats if you click that dollar sign it's a simple fast easy way to you know help support our channel give us a super chat and so i think we got two of them andrew slovasek um best in my gloss paint for interior trim oh yeah i gotta answer this question um, and so, and then Angel Guzman gave us a super chat, but right next to the dollar sign, there's a smiley face, click the smiley face and it drops down all the emojis you can select from. So there you go. Um, and there's like bazillions of them. So, and I tried to make them like right there at the, at the top. So, um, Andrew slow is like the best semi gloss paint for interior trim. So over the years, you know, I've changed and we used to use I sure away him solo a lot and I really liked it very forgiving very great for new beginner painters um, it's an excellent product like the finish like the sheen 
Um, it sticks to a lot of stuff. Um, adhesion is very, very good. So it's definitely a product we like. There's a few things like, you know, um, if you're spraying it over Bondo, it outgasses over the Bondo, some type of chemical reaction, it creates bubbles. So we had to work our through way through, you know, some of those technical difficulties with it when we first started using it. But now we're gonna be moving to uh, more higher end products and we've been testing some stuff. We, we tested a product from PPG that was absolutely amazing. If you haven't seen the video, it's on YouTube. Um, I did a video uh, testing PPG paint. So go check it out. And it was a product called Breakthrough. Amazing. Sure, Wim sells a product called um, Multi-Surface Acrylic, which we absolutely love. So I think we're going to be switching. Um, they're, they'll stick They'll stick better, bond, so bond better. They got better adhesion. They're more durable, more resistant to chemicals, cleaning, stuff like that, more chip resistant and stuff. So um, we're definitely going to be switching. So um, Johnny Ambreu is on. Let's see. Uh, he says he sent me a Facebook message. Please get him to read it. I did read it. So um, I read it, Johnny. So I read your question on Facebook. So um, I read it. Lisa read it. And so did John. So um, we, I read all that stuff and, and we'll be replying to it soon. So um, Tumbleweed, I did have to leave, then come back before it's okay. Let's see, DH, um, DH designs and painting. Can you use the tip with great co equipment? So here, here's the, um, and, I, and I do get like, people ask me all the time, like like tips, can I use a Graco tip with my Titan gun? So um, the, the gun, the, the threads on these guns, the, the threads themselves on the gun itself, they're universal threads. So um, I, I guess I'll just open this up. Let's see. I'm strong enough to so the, the threads, and, and I'll just show you what I'm talking about. So, and I'll just break it apart here, and you can see, here, here's the threads. All the guns I've ever used from different manufacturers, these threads are universal. Now, the HEA tip, here's the guard. This is this is a, a Titan guard right here. So you screw the guard on. You can't put a Graco tip in this guard because a Graco tip won't fit in this guard. The HEA tip, this is not an HEA tip. This is a regular Titan tip. An HEA tip, which is this tip, it goes into um, it goes straight into the regular guard, so you don't have to have a special guard. So here's the tip, goes right in the guard, and the guard screws on. Now you can take a Graco guard and a Graco tip and spray it on this gun, no problem. So I do get asked that online all the time. So hopefully this answers that question. All you need is the tip and guard, and this tip and guard should go on any airless spray gun out there that you know you know meets these basic standards. I mean, these are just standard threads, and if they if they don't have standard threads, it must be some I don't know maybe cheap aftermarket gun or something. But um, there you go. Hopefully that answers it. So you know I can take you know either tip. I can put either tip in this guard because it's a Titan guard. And then Titan guards they have I know they got orange ones and they have um, black ones and I think I've seen red ones. Graco guard. All the Graco guards we use are blue, um, but they do have green ones. And the blue guards are the Rack X guards. The um, the orange ones are Rack guards. And, and a Rack X tip won't go into a Rack guard. So with Graco, you got to have the pro proper guard for the um, the tip you're using. And then then it comes it comes with you know a couple seats. The tip comes with the um, the one plastic seat. These are. Um, chemical resistant like for lacquers and stuff like that we use the little rubber ones I like the rubber ones better because they they hand tighten easier e easier than um, than the plastic ones do because when you screw this dart you're, you're not supposed to have to when you screw this guard on it's hand tight only you should not have to screw this guard on with a wrench like so I screw it on now I'm ready to go that'll spray I don't need to tighten that with a wrench if you have to tighten it with a the wrench there's a problem so um, either the seat's worn out, you need to replace the seat. This one inside of it, um, they give you that plastic seat and those are the chemical resistant ones for lacquers and stuff. This one, it has the plastic one inside of it too, but I have the little rubber ones and I stick the rubber ones in there and, and I buy them. And I don't know, for some reason, I like the rubber ones a little bit better. But um, let's see if we got any other questions here. We do got questions. Pete Brubaker would not let me post URL on this chat. That's interesting. You should be able to post a URL, URL, but I guess it doesn't doesn't work. Scott Stacy, you should mention that the Graco new green fine finish tips. You need to change the rubber fitting inside the guard, and then 
it's um, only for the new tip style. So that's interesting. So um, Scott Stacy just gave a, a really good tip. Um, the new Graco green fine finish tips, you need to change the rubber fitting inside the guard. So um, it's interesting because I've never changed it. I mean, the same, the same fitting inside those guards, we've, co we've continued to use the same um, rubber, rubber fitting. So that's interesting. Um, have to look into that. So um, DSB painting, I sent you a video on breakthrough to my paint rep and they used it in a presentation for a huge design center grand opening. Hey, that's kind of cool. They used my video. Um, interesting. So, Andrew Slovacek, admin. Um, Amble Lane, you should warn how cheap paint trashes tips. Oh, great. That That is awesome. So, let me talk about that. So, um, cheap paint. So, a Amble Lane uh, brought that up. So, because one of the things to controlling overspray is your tips. Uh, you know, tips wear out. They don't last forever. So, they're like 45 to 50 gallons. Cheap paint is a lot rougher and more coarse and it's filled, it's, it has all kinds of cheap fillers and stuff like that and clays in it. And those cheap filler clays wear these tips out way, way faster. So um, yeah, if you're, you know, that, that's one of the reasons why just, I mean, cheap paint gets overspray everywhere, but cheap paint always wears out your equipment faster. And it, it wears out not only your tips faster, but it wears out your packings and your pumps faster. So you're gonna have to repack your pumps faster. So ultimately the cheap paint just doesn't pay for itself. I mean, it's just, it, it takes you more time because you gotta mask more, you gotta drop more, all that stuff. So just stay away from cheap, cheap paint. All the paints we use, our high-end, high-quality paints, and and um, so we get the most out of our tips. So that was, that was great. I mean, glad you said that, so I can talk about that because I don't think I've ever mentioned that. Cheap paints wear out your equipment, and repacking a pump takes time. So um, it takes time, and, it, and when your pumps are out of service, now you know I have 25 pumps, so we're never out of service. But if you're limited on your pumps, you only got one or two, and it's got to go in to be repacked, then you're out of service and you can't spray. So um, tumbleweed. My computer was running a diagnostic, and that caused my temp problem with the emoji. Oh, that's interesting. Um, let's see. Yes, you can clean. Um, look for the rubber gasket. So I'm not. Um, must be maybe he's answering somebody else's. Hovar, I've um, ever seen him on. We got a bunch of new people. It's Cheryl Sandig's on. How how do how do I know a cheap paint price? Price is an indicator of cheap paint, but I have to say, I mean, the paint that we just test tested, um, man, la I think it was last week, man, it, it wasn't cheap, man, and but it was cheap paint. And I, you you can, every time I've used just inexpensive cheap paints, if I'm spraying a soft bit, I'll just feel the paint ro just raining down on me. Um, cheap paints are gonna run easier. Um, they're, they're gonna cause more overspray, cause more dust in the air. Um, they're gonna fade and they're gonna just fade a lot faster, which you can't see. I mean, they're gonna fade in two to three years. So that's something that's not, that, that you can't see. But you, you can, I mean, it's weird because we, we can just stir the paint, put the paint in our hands and you can feel like, you know, you can feel the difference in quality of paints once you've been around it long enough. And if you're just brand new, a beginner and you've never messed around with any paints and you've only used one paint, that's all you know, it's really hard to tell. But once you start testing out all the different paints, you can, you can tell right off the bat. I can tell that day within an hour whether that was a good quality paint or a cheap paint. So um, it's not, I mean, it's not an easy, you know, answer to give, but um, it's just experience. Um, Scott Stacy in the U.S., was your Sherwood Williams once called General Paint? I've never, I've never known Sherwood Williams to be anything but Sherwood Williams, and I've been buying paint from them for 15 years. So, um, let's see. Paint Tech Academy is heading out. Hey, thanks for being with us, um, Paint Tech. If you don't know, we're heading over. You know, sponsored by Paint Tech Academy. You got to go check it out. We're gonna be at the National Painting and Decorating Show in their booth. So you got to come to the Paint Tech Academy's booth. You got to come, you know, go, you know, sign up to the four hour seminar. So hopefully we'll get to see you over there in the UK soon, the 28th and 29th. Argos Painting, good night. Um, Paint Techie says, Johnny Bones, Hovar, if you're looking to, so he's answering his question. Um, we got to get ready because I'm running out of time. Um, let's see what time it is. Oh, 58. I got to give away. It's time to give away the, um, the Titan, the Titan. Um, gun, the Titan gun tip, and we're going to be giving a Titan gun tip and um, gun tip and gauge right now. Brand new, not this one, but 
the courtesy of Mike Collins and Titan. They're going to be sending it straight to you. Direct ship. So kind of cool. Free. So here's all you got to have to do. It's simple. And we're going to be looking for the first person. So um, back in, um, I wanted to do something different and interesting. So because I always just kind of, it's kind of the same thing. But this is kind of just an interesting um, fact because um, I, I can't do this stuff no more. But the first person to guess um, I competed in powerlifting. And so this is a powerlifting related question. So back in my powerlifting days, I competed in the World uh, Police and Fire Games. So I was over there in Calgary, Canada, competed in the World Police and Fire Games because I was a former police officer. So, and um, I squatted. So the powerlifting is the squat, bench, and deadlift. And in, in, that, in those games, um, I squatted a certain amount. So with an emoji, you have to add any emoji you want, just select any emoji. You have to guess how much weight I squatted at the World Police and Fire Games. Very simple. And whoever can guess that will get the gun. But you gotta guess, your guess has to come with an emoji. Gun, courtesy of Titan and Mike Collins. Bam. So, um, and I'm probably about 500 pounds short of that squat now so 450 is not even close so i i competed in the 220 pound weight division so um i see some people getting up there um 800 i see like 620 800 we'll see if anybody can if somebody can, i'm going to be giving some hints if people aren't getting close and i'll tell you what Let's see, um, 15, I wish it was 1,500. I wish it was 18. So I got somebody that's close. Um, XC Painters was close. John knows how much I, whoa, I see some people getting really close. Um, I see, let's see. And I don't know, like, I don't know if you could like Google that. So it would be hard for somebody to like Google, <laughs> Google it because I don't think it would, it would be posted anywhere. But um so whoever whoever guesses how much and it was over 700 pounds so i'll give you that it was over 700 and john's looking for the winner so your guess has to be over 700 what i squatted kind of interesting and i can't do it no more <laughs> now i don't even know if i can squat 150 pounds no more so um yeah i i still work out occasionally but got a lot of guesses 830 i wish i get i wish i squatted 830 i wish i would squatted over 800 that would have been cool so <laughs> So I think um, I'll scroll to the top here. I haven't seen, see if John has picked up on anybody. It was, I said over 700. So you gotta, um, let's see. Um, let's see, we got, John sent me, let's see, not paint tech. Let's see, John sent me several names here. Which one is it, John? Tell me which one, who's the winner? Uh, somebody, Hovar said 570. Text me one more time, John, because you sent me like several names. Here we go. And this is going to um, end our show, giving away this gun. So I'm waiting for his text. So I'll scroll up and see if I can figure it out myself. I'm scrolling down, scrolling down through your guesses here. And um, to John's text, and here it comes. And because I think, um, yeah, this person has won before. So the winner of the gun, the actual, what I squatted was 720 pounds. Bam. So um, John just texted me, Capstone Painting is the winner. So there we go. Another really cool giveaway, giveaway Titan stuff. Stay tuned um, this week, man, for some cool. We gave away you know, some Titan tips. We gave away some stickers. So um, how fun. So stay tuned this week. Like I said, um, Facebook is The Idaho Painter. Instagram is um, Idaho Painter because we got three more guns to give away and a bunch more tips to give away. Thank you guys for you know foregoing Monday Night Football, coming and hanging out with us here on the show. And um, and just learning a little about a little bit about overspray, overspray. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you for the super chatters, Andrew Slovasek and Angel Guzman. Appreciate it very much, giving us your hard-earned money to help support the show. The support the show is every Monday night, every Monday night at 7 p.m. and um, and once again, we love social media, Instagram, Facebook. And don't forget our to check our website, theidahopainter.com, because our our very own store, our own store is coming online. Anyways, we'll see you on our next video. Out.